It's 13 feet high. It weighs over seven tons of marble. We designed a steel cage to encase the object and we made up forms inside to prevent the piece from moving. We only had the two inches on each side of the open skylight of the building. It was very precarious raising and lowering the piece. She will be the crowning uh, queen. She's Hera in Greek, the wife of Zeus, uh, or Juno, the wife of Jupiter in Latin. The planning process for the move of the sculpture from the estate in Brookline into the museum was an extremely drawn out and complicated process. The real concern we had is about when we would raise her or lay her back, the extreme weight from the top would put too much pressure or stress on the ankles. And so we had cored three inch diameter hole through the torso and reinforced it with a stainless steel rod. We got the piece into the gallery and secured it to the floor. We slowly from the top sought to cut away the steel cage in sections. First and foremost, the largest classical sculpture in America. It gives us a hint of the majesty of Rome, which is now lost. It is a very important, rare example of colossal monumental sculpture. How do you like her posture? Sir? I like it. Yeah. We had to remove the head in order to safeguard it during the move from the estate into the building. I think the reattachment of the head, which will be suspended from a gantry and um, positioned above the body, will be extremely exciting and interesting. The green stuff was there before. Everybody's been very excited about the piece and uh, just put you on edge as <laughs> to uh, for the safety and that everybody's pleased with the results of uh, its um, final resting place in the gallery. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Me too. Me too.